Hey there, Sharon Hornell Smear. Welcome to What You Up To Now, day 2,195. I hop online every day and I talk about what I'm doing and I do it for personal reasons. And I began doing it because I wanted to keep track of what I was doing as I transitioned from the offline world and corporate America to the online world. And in 2017, I hopped online following my divorce and divesting myself of businesses with the ex-husband and became a ClickFunnels certified partner, which led me to sales funnels. Never heard of a sales funnel. Really, it's just a sales process that's online and created it as kind of a website instead of people going to a website and having a gazillion different things they can do and a gazillion different options or lots of different options. There's just one flow that we take people through. Why? Because we want to take them through a process on a journey. And so we talked for Supersize Your Business today, and it's really one of my favorite topics. I forgot. I haven't really been working on that or doing that for a while. And <clears throat> I realized how excited I got about it because it's fun to talk about, and, and I'm good at it. And I'm like, I had a lot of fun doing it. I did hundreds and hundreds of uh, optimizing funnel reviews for people and learned a lot along the way. Um, the, the most, and, and I shared a bunch of tips today of, of how you make your funnel more successful and the things that are really important in your funnel, uh, <clears throat> because it's important that you do those things first and get it out there, take action. It's not going to be perfect. <clears throat> it's never going to be perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. And literally of the hundreds of funnels <clears throat> that I've launched and helped people launch, I cannot think of a single one that hit a home run out of the gate. I guess I'm due, but I haven't had one yet. So that was our topic for Super Size Your Business today. I'm taking a, a business growth topic, kind of goes along with our annual challenge, the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. And I'm talking about that every day and some of the, just the key points of what you can do to implement that strategy in your business or to think about that for your business because you may or may not be thinking about it. And with all the different businesses and industries I've been in, I have kind of a, a big picture perspective on what works and what doesn't. And some of the principles that are super important, like keep it simple. Done is better than perfect. Uh, take action and fix along the way because otherwise we freeze and we never get anything done. We procrastinate. Uh, some of us are more guilty of that than others. So we talked about that. We talked about the customer journey phases because we need to find a way to communicate with people in different phases and we approach them differently and would create our sales funnel differently depending on when they're coming into our world. And I usually don't like to bring people into my world until they intend to do something about the situation that they're involved in. That's just me personally. I like to have buyer's intent before they, they see my world because all of that is preliminary and there's so much research and so much thing, so many things going on and their attention is so easily diverted. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to waste my time and energy on those people because the vast majority of them will never buy from me or anyone else for that matter. So I want to stick along with and, and do things that make sense. So our topic and what we did for this year's Grow, annual challenge doing what let's grow annual challenge we're doing one thing every day to grow is we have identified over the last uh, few weeks our growing process the process just like a, a sales funnel is a process for sales we have a growing process a process that we are going to follow and use this year for personal development personal growth growth in all the different areas and aspects of our life and i forced it to go to the word growing because it's a seven step process and growing is a seven letter word. And I like acronyms because they help me to remember what I'm trying to do in each step of the process along the way. And we're going to practice this process over and over again each month this year for a specific area and aspect of our life and really get it internalized and into our subconscious so that we can use it automatically. So by the end of this year, I and everyone else will be growing automatically. That's that's my intent and purpose of my annual challenges, and that's the process we're going to use this year. I need to still practice writing backwards, but I'm getting, I'm, I don't know if I'm getting better at it or not. Probably not. Uh, so we're running through the growing process at least one time on a small area of our life that we'd like to grow in and saying, what would I do at each step of this? And does this fit for me going forward? And I want people's feedback on that because last year we had a goal process. We did the annual Get Your Goals Annual Challenge where we did one thing every day to get what we want, to get our goals in life. And again, structured along a life framework area that I've used 
since the 1980s and I updated in 2020 with the pandemic and everything. Uh, and we focus on each major area and aspect of our life. Why? Because I was a bad example of an action. I wasn't even a, a bad example. I was a, an absolute positive warning of not doing that, totally ignoring certain areas and aspects of my life. And that got me literally dead. Sudden cardiac arrest, frozen for a week or so, uh, and, and in cardiac rehab for six months and things like that. So I want to make sure nobody else has to go to that extreme by ignoring an area or aspect of our life to the verge of it actually causing us to drop dead. So that's kind of my intent and purpose going forward is how can I help people to get what they want in different areas and aspects of their life and not ignore things that make up all of us as human beings. All right, that's all I've got today. If I can help you in any way, ask Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow just to pop in and, and let you know what I'm working on, what's working, what's not working. Uh, lots going on. Always lots going on, right? All right, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.